Rossini is really one of the most important opera composer in the Italian history of musical theatre. And he is mainly known for his comic operas, which are really irresistible. But he was as well very, very well known for dramatic, tragic operas too. And later in his life, he became very important also as church music composer. We chose to bring to the public uh, this Petit Messolennel in its orchestral version. This choice would fit the propose to bring something new, interesting to the public because the chamber version is much more frequently performed and at the same time to feature the wonderful chorus of the Dutch National Opera and the Netherlands Philharmonic and a group of four very talented young soloists. It's one of the luckiest things that can happen in the middle of this pandemic to get a call from a house like the Dutch National Opera to sing a piece like the Petite Messolennen, which is a dream for a mezzo-soprano. Rossini's writing is very demanding for everybody and they are absolutely up to the task. Working with Battistoni for me is such a gift. Rossini needs, of course, a very clean uh, line of singing, but at the same time I try to make Katia singing as expressive as possible. He makes a real like operatic work out of it, which, for someone with my voice, is really a gift. And since I uh, immediately felt that she uh, reacts to music in a very intimate, special way, I just wanted this treasure she was keeping a little more hidden to just explode to everybody. And I think we had wonderful surprises for them and for her. I don't think you need to be religious to appreciate this music, but for sure this music evokes something that goes beyond our everyday reality. We do not shy from expressing the full potential of every dramatic moment. And when the score is brilliant and happy, we just want to explode of joy and exultance. That charges this performance of extra power. And the chorus sing beautifully, and that's what it's all about.